What's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a dev screen. This video was recommended to me by one of my subscribers. I'm not sure if it was in my Discord server or my YouTube channel, but I just know somebody suggested it to me. But I think it was in my Discord server. So shout out to them and stuff. I want to thank you guys for the love and support I've been showing all my videos. I'm at like 24,000 monthly views, like as in like I average about 24,000 views every month. So I, I'm appreciative of that. And I really, I'm really thankful for you guys for helping me with that. But anyway, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so let's go ahead and take out, take care of the GUI portion of it because you know you're gonna need a UI part that like shows up when a player dies and it's like you have died or just respawning in, you know, five, four, three, two, one. So let's make a UI. Let's go to start a GUI and insert a screen GUI. Let's name this GUI death. Mm, call it death screen GUI. And then, of course, you really just need like a text label. Mm, yeah, really just like a text label, honestly. And then you could just change the size to just fit the entire screen. I would recommend just changing the first value since since the values uh since the first values are it's scaled differently. Where like it'll just cover the whole screen. And then you can set the the second values for both of them to uh zero, right? But then on the UI, make sure you enable ignore GUI no set. This pretty much makes so, makes it so that the UI can cover the top portion of the screen, right? And then you can name this death screen text label then you guys can customize this to your liking i'm gonna just make my i'm gonna make the background red because you know like you just died make it text bold and then you can clear the text well, actually make sure it's positioned correctly yeah like this like you want it to cover the screen but you still want the text to be visible like yeah so when you scale the text you still want it to be visible just like that in the middle then you can delete the text then you can change the uh, text color and whatever else to your liking. But yeah, done there pretty much. So head on over to server script service and insert a server script. You guys can name this death screen script, death screen script, delete print hello world. And then we can, we can go ahead and make a function, do game dot players, dot player added, colon, connect function in parentheses with PLR. It's just short for the player who joined. And then do player uh, character added colon connect function in parentheses put character and then you're going to, want to do character wait for child and then in quotation marks this one not autofill by the way put humanoid because you want to wait for the humanoid right and then you're going to say character dot humanoid dot sorry dot died colon connect function as i said before if you didn't hear me it will not autofill. The humanoid died part will not autofill. Then press enter. So pretty much we've set up a function to when the player joins and when a player's character has loaded in and when the humanoid has loaded in, then if if the player dies, pretty much like if the text of the humanoid dies, it'll trigger this function. So when the player so when the player's character dies, you're then going to enable the UI. So player dot player GUI dot death screen GUI dot enabled is set to true. By default, of course, we can have the GUI disabled, and then you want to change the text. So we could use like a four I. We use like a four I thing, get yeah, like a four I type of loop, right? So you could do like four I is equal to, um, let's say like, let's say like three seconds. Like it takes like a respawn time of three seconds, right? Three seconds. So you would put, uh, where you start here, where you want to end, and the change. So negative one. So, or I do, right? And then you want to also make sure, I don't know if the players, and scroll down to you see respawn time. You want your respawn time to match the first number, right? Because you, because like when you respawn, you want the player to respawn when, you know, the UI is disappeared. So, 4i is equal to, you know, we're going to count down from three and we're going to put a wait one. And then you're going to change the text of the UI, right? You're going to enable the UI first. So, we can copy and paste this. You can copy and paste this, right? here and then inside the loop you're going to change the text you're going to do wait for it put, oh sorry that screen gui then that screen text label dot text is equal to respawning yeah my message is going to be respawning in then do dot dot then i and boom so pretty much it'll the screen will appear and it'll say respawning in three two one and then we can have an if statement so if I equal to zero, then 
you can disable the GUI. Pretty much do the opposite of what we did on line six. Enable is equal to false. You could also put this on the outside of um, the for I loop. But yeah, so if I click play and then I respawn, load it in, respawn or reset. Yep, respawning in three, two, one, boom. There you go. And I'm back. Yeah. As I said before, you guys can change this if you want it to be five seconds, uh, six seconds, whatever the case may be. You just change, just change this value right here and make sure you change your respawn time in the player service. So, yes, that's simple. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Links to join my Roblox group and Discord can find in the description down below if you want to join. And you can also become a channel member. You can find out more about that down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.